Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to do cut work, net effect and repeating cut work using pen tool. We will also learn how to make custom brushes. So let's quickly start the video. This is the work we did in our last class. So in today's class, let's start with the cut work. Let's do some cut work here on skirt. So first take your pen tool. Let's make some a uh, diamond shape for cut work. So if we want to repeat this cut, cut work on our skirt, uh, to repeat the cut work, just press Alt, Control and drag, drag the path with mouse. Press Alt and Control. Don't leave the key and drag the path. You can see our path has been copied and you can place it according to your design. So, so how to repeat the path? Just hold Alt and Control key with pen tool and drag it. Now here you can see some path are all the paths are in the same direction, but our skirt has a little curve. So we will do a little adjustment here. Press Ctrl T and now we can move it a little bit here. Then click OK. To select the path, um, hold Ctrl and Alt key then click over the path. Then press Ctrl T and adjust the path. Now our pattern for cut work is ready. Now go to path and rename the path. Then click OK. Now uh, to make cut work, select your path, then go to this third circle. This is for load the selection path. Click over it the area of your path will be selected. Now you can press delete on the keyboard. This will delete the area of path. And if you want to make it sear, what to do? Take your eraser, then reduce the opacity of eraser. Then erase over it. Make sure you, you are on the skirt fill layer. This is our, our skirt fill layer. We are on this layer and erase on this layer. You can see here the part of the skirt is little transparent. Let's do it again. Take your brush tool. Now we will work on the top. Go to the top fill layer, come to this layer, then go to path, rename the path, then 
now load selection take your eraser reduce the opacity to 15 percent now erase over the area you can see slightly it's getting transparent here this is how you can do cut work and network and make repeating pattern now we will learn how to add embroidery details using pen tool so for this first take take your pen tool now suppose we want to add simple details on the neckline so first make the path for the embroidery then press skip our embroidery will go on this path now take take your brush tool here is the brush setting suppose i want to add um, triangle details here so we will search for triangle brushes make a new layer for neckline detail reduce the size of brush according to your design now if we make a line it looks like straight line but we want to make triangle so what to do come to brush setting here you can see spacing increase the spacing spacing of the brush here you can see the spacing be between each triangle adjust according to your choice this is the size you can also increase or decrease the size using your keyboard shortcut here this circle is used for adjusting the angle of your triangle like if we want to point this triangle in down downward direction so move this arrow now it is facing downward so our setting is done now um, check the layer we are on the neckline layer now go to path Re rename the path now here stroke path with brush click over it now you can see here on the path we don't have left the empty space down there so how to deactivate this just press control and click over the path in this way you can add details using different types of brushes now i will show you how to make your own custom brush take your pen tool make any shape or pattern you can also do it with brush tool or use any tool to make your pattern now fill your path now take any selection tool i'm using lasso tool you can make free selection with it select the pattern now here on the top go to edit then search for define brush preset rename the brush like this is in diamond shape so i am naming it diamond brush now your brush is ready to use so we can delete this pattern so let's uh, use this pattern on neckline or you can use anywhere so take your pen tool make the path for your embroidery 
then press skip make a new layer for embroidery now take your brush adjust brush size now come to brush setting here increase the spacing of the brush you can also adjust the direction of your brush but for me this is okay now go to path select the path first rename it otherwise it will disappear after um, after you will make another path now click over the second circle you can also change the color simply select foreground color then press ok now stroke path see the color of your pattern is changed how to make floral pattern brushes open your google and search for floral motif here i have already opened this select the pattern in which you want to make your brush suppose this is the image we want to use in our garment copy the image then come to photoshop and press control v this is shortcut for paste with control t adjust the image size or uh, we can simply go with this image size now take the take lasso tool select the pattern only make sure you don't select any extra area otherwise it will all be also in included in your brush now go to edit then define brush preset we can name it floral brush then click okay now your brush is ready to use delete this layer okay um now our brush is ready we can use it simply by simply clicking over the surface it also looks good or you can make a chain of the embroidery like in lehengas and mostly in indian wears embroid chain type of embroidery is popular so how to make that chain type of pattern simply go to brush setting increase the spacing here you can see how much spacing is between your uh, each pattern or each flower and uh, also you can adjust the angle of your flower now take pen tool make path for the pattern like if we you uh, we are working on lehengas you can make line on the border part now press skip here i have already this embroidery layer separate layer you can make a separate layer for your embroidery so make sure you are on embroidery layer now come to the path rename the path now take your brush decrease the brush size according to your need then click over this second circle see how the pattern is going in chain pattern or linear pattern you can use it in different dresses use your creativity to make your own design now you can see here the embroidery is going out from the garment so what to do uh you can simply use eraser tool to erase the extra part here mm. 
my eraser brush is soft round so search for hard round by default it is hard round so you can simply use eraser tool to erase this but if you are working with so many patterns and uh, details so we can't erase it every time so what can you do simply uh, we are making it on the top layer now so move this layer over the top layer this is our top layer so move this embroidery layer over the top layer now press alt and click between these two layers you can see here, here uh, a small black arrow kind of thing is showing so simply click over it what it will do it will simply make the changes only on the top part now if we um, make anything the brush stroke will not come out of the top it will work only on this top part so in this way you can make so many embroidery details and you don't need, have to worry of getting things out of the garment so uh, this is enough for this video do practice for the whole things 